Hello and you're very welcome to the Seeing is Believing Audi A3 virtual event. I'm your host Darren Kennedy and I'm so excited to be here today to be showing you the stunning all new Audi A3. Now very shortly we'll be joined by the Head of Marketing and Product at Audi Ireland, Richard Malloy. He's going to talk us through the amazing new features of this car in more detail. But first, let's take a proper look at this stunning car in all its glory. Seeing truly is believing with the all new Audi A3. Now, I was actually lucky enough to test drive the all new Audi A3 for a couple of days during the week. And let me tell you, it was nothing short of spectacular. The Audi A3 has always been a dream drive, but with the new driving systems, it is even dreamier. But enough from me, let's get a man in here who knows this car inside out. Richard, thanks for joining us. Great to be here, Darren. Richard, I have to say, first things first, I mean, this car is absolutely stunning. When you see it first, it just, it stopped me in my tracks. Talk to me about the exterior and the new design. It is absolutely stunning. Um, really, the A3 is one of our most popular models in, in Ireland. And the reason people buy it is the, the design. They, want to, they like the looks outside and they want to feel great inside. Mm -hmm. And one of the main briefs for the designers with the new car was, we've got to make it sporty, we've got to make it aggressive looking. And I think you'll agree, they've absolutely nailed it. Oh, they've nailed it. I mean, what I keep getting drawn to, and I don't know what it is, I mean, obviously the lights are such a signature for an Audi car. You know, regardless of what you can see coming down the road, you know it's an Audi when you see the lights, but these LEDs are something extra. They really are very, very striking. So the model we have here is an S-Line A3 in Navarro Blue. And with all Audi A3s, uh, LED lights are a standard. And they're very important to us in Audi because they're like a, a signature. And you instantly recognize an Audi coming down the road at you. So this is the design here of the new LEDs for the, for the Audi S-Line. And I, I think you'll agree they are absolutely spectacular. Well, I have to admit, when I did first get the car, I had to go out at night and see it in all its glory with the lights on and just check them out. I think my neighbors thought I was losing the plot, but they, they, you know, they are beautiful. They really are. And the back ones as well, that LED, the kind of hockey stick shape. Yeah, and at the back, they, they're absolutely striking with those individual lights there, and they really set off the back design uh, of the new Audi, Audi A3. But really, for, for design, it's all about the front of the car and, and the grille. Um, and what they wanted is to make the car feel lower and feel wider. So the Audi single frame grille here, it's lower, it's wider, and also it has the honeycomb grille, which I know you really like. I mean, there's a song in that somewhere, isn't it? The honeycomb <laughs> grille, I'll, leave, I'll, I'll work on that. But it is very impressive. It just draws your eyes straight to this. The, the Absolutely, and to give it a more, more aggressive stance on, on, on the road. And then you come around to the side here, and then really the, the, what sets it off here is, is, are the wheels. These are 19-inch uh, sport wheels, and they really set it off. And because it's an S-Line, the car sits lower. It sits 15 mils lower, and that works in two ways. Obviously, it looks better sitting, sitting lower, but also helps with driving dynamics. A little bit lower helps with sportier your driving, depending whether you're on the motorway or in the city or, or on, on, on country roads there. I certainly found that actually, because when I was driving it, it was a mix of city driving, driving out to the beach for a little swim, and then obviously jumping on the motorway, and it just zipped along. I was actually surprised to learn today that it, the one I've been driving, and I know we'll talk about the engine shortly, but it was only a one litre, but great response. Yeah, in terms of engines, you've, you've lots of engines to choose from. Mm -hmm. um, you have two petrol engines, a one litre and a 1.5. We think they'll be the most popular choice for Irish customers. But the one litre engine really is a, is, is a, is a masterpiece. It's, it's, it's very efficient, but lots of torque. And what does torque give you? Torque gives that everyday power. When you're pulling away from the lights, whether you're overtaking, and there's lots of torque. And it really surprises people when they try the one litre of how responsive it is. And also, we're going to expand the engine lineup uh, soon. We're going to have a plug-in hybrid coming at us. And those who really want the ultimate expression of a sporty A3, the S3 will, will be coming soon as well with, with 310 brake horsepower, which will be an amazing car to drive. Now, Richard, we talked a lot about the S-Line and obviously the front design of this car. It would be remiss of us not to talk about the back because I know there's lovely spoiler details, etc. Yeah, I mean, the, the back, the back is, is really, they wanted to bring the back lower. So you have a much larger spoiler than the, than the previous car. And that spoiler then feeds into those individual LED lights as, as we talked about. And the side as well, when you compare the old A3 and the new A3, you really see the differences in, in, in the side. The car obviously sits lower. You have a very, very strong tornado line going all the way from the front to the back of the car. But then if you look at the, at the doors, 
and this is a, it's a concave shape that goes down to the bottom of the doors. So they're really playing with different shapes on the doors mm -hmm. and light and shadow, and that makes the car very, very distinctive on the road. Now, I have to be totally honest, when I was reading about the car before I saw it, and I saw a tornado line, I kind of thought, that's very creative. But actually, once you see it, it makes total sense. It's just that fluidity. Exactly, exactly. And, and again, it's all about that sporty, dynamic look in, in the road, whether you're driving a saloon or whether you're driving the Sportback model we, we have here. Okay, so once we then, we're stopped in our tracks, obviously visually with the outside of the car, that design continues when we open the door and actually pop ourselves into the driver's seat. Yeah, and, and I have to say, driving the car last week, one of the main things I found was, wow, the seats. The new designs, so they, look, they look great. Mm -hmm. but actually, when you sit in them and you spend some time driving in them, they are so comfortable. And you get out of the car after a long, long drive and you feel, you feel refreshed. They are really, really, really brilliant. But the design, and I'll come back to that in a second, and that's very important to us, but also very important for, for Audi and our strategy is, is sustainability. And it's about how are we sustainable in the production of our cars. And with the seats, for example, for the, our fabric seats, we're now using PET recyclable bottles. There's up to 90 of those bottles in, in, in the seat. And the same with the, with the carpets and the same with the, with the, with the, boot, the boot well as well. It's just to try and, and make uh, the production uh, process more sustainable and use more recycled materials throughout the car. It's so important and actually I was delighted to hear that feature in the car because you know everyone is becoming uh, far more conscious of the environment as we should be. But then when you sit in the car, Darren, I think you'd agree, it's really, really a huge change from, from the old model there. So you sit in the car and what strikes you? Well, this is the S-Line model, so you've got the beautiful S-Line flat bottom steering wheel with your controls on it. And also what greets your eye is the 10-inch virtual cockpit. This is your digital display. And I don't know when you're, you were using it, you might have seen, well, you can toggle between your phone or your media or the car info at the flick of a switch. And you can keep your eyes on the road, which is, which is all important. And it was also, there was a sensor as well, which was kind of t warning me about oncoming traffic, staying within the lines. I mean, the tech uh, built into it is something else. Yeah, safety is, is, is very, very important for us and for our customers. So we have what's called ID Presense, we've Swerve Assist, and we've Lane Change Assist. And, and Presense is one of the big standard, standard features, and that's using the camera at the front of the car. And that's reading the road ahead, and that's reading, and it's trying to prevent an accident. And if it feels that an accident is, is impending, it will take action with first the alarm, and then it actually will take emergency braking action if, if needed. So again, safety is a par paramount for our customers, and that's what our customers want within, within the car. When you get in then to the, the interior, really, as you sit in, it's, it's as I said, that, that whole cockpit wraps around you. You see the virtual cockpit, you see the air vents. But then the center console, and that's when you have your, your large touchscreen there. And that's so important, not only for the driver, but for the passengers, because they're gonna use that to interact with. It's our newest, latest, and greatest touchscreen. Super easy and super fast to use. It's a 10 inch touchscreen. And there you can control all elements in, in the car. Another important part within in the car is not just touch screens, but actually physical buttons, and people want that. Yeah, you still need a button. I mean, I'm all for technology, but you want to kind of be able to, you know, increase the heating or lower the heating, or whatever it might be. Yeah, and you see that yeah, the, the yeah. center part of the console there has the climate control, so you can increase and decrease the heating at the, at the touch of a button. Again, keeping your, your eyes on, on the road there. It's also great though for your phone, right? Because once you get in, like I just popped my phone in the center console and it was charging it automatically and it connected kind of my music and everything else up to the screen. Like I didn't really have to do very much. Connectivity is one of the main requirements from, from our customers. You want to sync the car to your smartphone to the outside world. And, and the A3 is, is no exception here. So yeah, it's great. So firstly, you got your key. Mm -hmm. So keep the key in your pocket, key, let's go. Take the phone out and put it in the phone box cradle. It'll charge uh, wirelessly for you. And my favorite bit is obviously it, it syncs in with the, with the MMI and it syncs in with either Android Auto or Apple Car, CarPlay and it syncs in wirelessly so you can use all your apps, so you're, whether it's your Spotify, your apps or your, or your navigation there. And again, it's just that seamless interaction between smartphone and car. And it's also really spacious. I think, you know, it's worth mentioning that it's a very spacious car. I mean, I went uh, on a journey and I had four adults in the car. Lots of room in the front and in the back, actually, which I was surprised about. But this is a car for every day and it's designed for, for using in the, in the city or on country roads or going a long distance down, down the motorway. And it's the same inside then. It's, it's all about space. So you, you think of the center console there. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's more space there for the all-important coffee cups and they've done, little, they've done small changes to that so you see the new gear stick toggle it's tiny but it gives more space to, to store your phone and other bits and bobs within your life you mentioned that this is the s line which is the sports line 
Um, what different features would we expect on the S line? So S line is, is one of the most popular lines. And again, people buy it because it, it gives you those, those sporty features. So as I said, the car sits, sits mm -hmm. lower. Um, it has larger alloy wheels, but also inside, you see you have the embossed S-Line seats, you have little S-Line detailings on, on the steering wheel and around the car. And it's all of those little details, the little bits of, of craftsmanship that make Audi stand out from the rest. And that's why people, I think, would really choose the S-Line model. And then the black pack on top of that, because I know that's what this car is. Yeah, the black yeah. pack, it looks great. So you yeah. go back to your honeycomb grill here. I love my honeycomb grill, listen. And what black pack gives you the, the black grill. And what that does is, no matter what the metallic colour you, you pick, it really sets the car off against the metallic colour you, you pick. And it really is a popular option with A3 uh, customers. Now, Richard, obviously, you're uh, very spoiled when it comes to the cars that you can drive. You've got the full spectrum of Audis. What is it about this one that would make you choose it? And you can't say the Apple or the, the phone thing, something else. I suppose two things, and I mean, ever since the car came out in the mid 90s, the design to me has been fantastic. And I think, as I said earlier on, they nailed it here. The design is, is, is progressive and it's sporty and it's very dynamic. So I love the look of it. Mm. For me, it's the interior, it's, it's the connectivity between your virtual cockpit, your phone, and, and the touch screen. And that really is, is seamless uh, interaction with your phone and the outside world and lets you get on with just enjoying the car and going to your destination. Well, there you have it. I think we can all agree that Audi really have nailed it here when it comes to design and performance. Richard, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Darren. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you want to find out more about the all new Audi A3 or indeed book a test drive, log on to audi.ie or contact your local dealership. From all of us here at Audi, take care.